I want to tell you a story about a triangle named Tilly. So once there was a very happy little triangle named Tilly. Let's give her a head, some eyes, some mouth, some hair. There we go. And some arms. And some little stick legs. Now, Tilly was very happy, but until lately. And lately she had started to feel sad. She was unhappy with her shape. She didn't like just having three sides to her shape. She admired all the other shapes, like the lovely square with the four neat sides and the circle all smooth and full. So Tilly had an idea. She decided she was going to eat more food so she could grow another side. She ate and ate and ate. She ate candy and cookies and ice cream and wonderful cream puffs. Tilly ate for three days. And on the fourth day, when she woke up and looked in the mirror, guess what? She had another side. It actually worked. Her plan worked. She had become a square. Well, oh boy, she was so excited. But now Tilly thought, well, if I keep on eating, I can change again. So she kept right on eating all the sweet things she could find. And sure enough, just after two more days, Tilly woke up, looked in the mirror, and saw that she had become a circle. Can you believe it? Tilly, her idea had worked again, and she had become a a circle. Oh boy, she was happy. Well, at least for a while. None of Tilly's friends recognized her. She had to tell them who she was, and worst of all, Tilly couldn't stop eating. The more she ate, the bigger she got. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. And her little arms, oh no, oh no. Well, Tilly called the doctor, and he told her, if you don't stop eating, you're going to pop. So Tilly made herself stop. She didn't eat anything in two, for two days. And in two days, she was not so big. So she had shrunk a little bit. Let's say she ate healthy. Maybe not. She didn't eat at all because that's not a healthy choice, is it? So she had shrunk a little bit. So... Tilly was still lonesome for her old self, so in two more days of eating healthy, Tilly was a, do you remember what the shape was, the next shape? A square. She was a square. Oh, so she was excited, and she was happy until she wanted to be her old self again. And after two more days, it finally happened. Tilly woke up, and everything was back to normal. She was her triangle old self. There she goes. And you know what? She was happy and she said, you know what? I will never do such a silly thing again. Wow. Well, how did we have to change when Tilly changed shapes? How did she change from one shape to another? Hmm. Well, first she had three sides, and then she had four sides, so she became a square, and then she had one side. So we have to pretty much change the number of sides, don't we? Well, look what I did. I took some of these ang legs, and I took, and there are three of them, and they're equal. That means that they're the same length, okay? They're all the same length. And, and I made a triangle, three-sided triangle, and that's called an equilateral because the sides are equal. Equal, same lines, okay? So then I filled it with these triangles, the pattern blocks, and I filled it all the way up. So when she was eating, she was filling up her shape. But watch, remember, we're gonna change the triangle to a square, and so I'm going to have to add another equal side. So I'm going to take this apart, 
and I'm going to add another side. If I can get these little ang legs to work for me. All right. So now I've made a square. And look what happened. Look at all the room I had. So she had to continue to eat to fill up this one before she went to a bigger shape. So, wow, look at that. How much more room she has just by adding that other side. Well, now that we've got a square, let's pretend like this piece of paper is a piece of bread. So we have a square piece of bread. Now, how am I going to take this piece of bread and cut it so I can have two rectangles that are the same size and shape. How am I going to cut that bread? Well, I'm going to make a horizontal line. So I'm just going to cut straight across. Now I need to do it in the middle so that they'll be the same size. See? Same size, same shape with a horizontal cut. And remember, horizontal is across. But what if I wanted to take that same kind of shape, bread, the square, and I don't want rectangles. This time I want triangles. What kind of line am I going to cut to make two triangles that are the same size and shape? Hmm, I can't make a horizontal line. And if I make a vertical, look, I'm still going to have two rectangles. I don't want rectangles. I want triangles. Oh. If you said from corner to corner, a diagonal line, you were right. Now I have to go from one corner to the other corner, or the vertice. Look at that. A diagonal line from corner to corner. I have two triangles that are the same shape and size. Look at that. So just by taking a shape, and changing the way I cut it makes different shapes. So I took it and I cut horizontal and made two rectangles. And I did a diagonal line from corner to corner and made two triangles. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, so what I want you to do on your assignment is drag the diagonal lines and the horizontal lines and change up the shapes and then use the microphone to tell me how those diagonal and horizontal lines changed to make them look the same or different. <laughs>